All right, guys, welcome back. We're here with some more Yakuza Zero. So let's see, what do we have available to us at the moment? Um, we can continue the main quest. I'm curious if there's any, oh, sorry, everyone for being horrible. I'm curious if there's any side activities available to us yet. Hmm. I'm also curious how, how many um, of these completion things are easy to farm out. I'm going to farm out probably a bunch of these off off video. The only problem is it's a... Uh, It's kind of tough in this game sometimes to not just trigger random quests when walking around. Like, you'll walk around and then, like, an NPC will trigger a conversation with you, you know? Hello, guys. What's up? Hmm... Oh, am I in a fight? I guess I am. Let's see if I remember how to do this shit. Hmm. Come on. Ooh. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, wrong button. I'm dumb. Hello, dude. Weird, weird. I didn't even press the button there, but it, it registered as if like, <laughs> I don't know. I think there was less time to do the quick time event than the uh, graphic displayed. Or maybe he just like died mid animation. I don't know. Was this bowling or something or batting cage? Oh, batting center. I think I suck at that shit. Yeah, there are so many side things to do in this game. Oh, God. Hello? Okay, there's a way for me to, like... Ow! Just get destroyed, right? Ow! I want to try this kick, okay, dude? Oh, did I use all my heat? Don't mind me, I'm just having a tantrum in the air by myself. Oh my god. I can't fucking hit. Okay. I need to lock on to him to do it. Oh my god. Hang on, dude. I can't. I can't connect this move that I unlocked. There we go. Was it worth it? It was not worth it. The lock on is weird. As far as I can tell, I don't know if it's locking on to a character or if it's locking on to the direction you're facing. Unless I'm pressing the wrong input. I was doing right bumper. Okay, let's go to a taxi for a second and see if there's anywhere we can go. Can we go to our apartment yet? Where would I like to go? Okay. I think I can just jump around. Oh, do I have like over two mil? Okay, let's see. Um, um, uh, buh, 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 What am I doing? You know what? Abilities. Oh, so these are all expensive as fuck. You know what? I am not going to do this quest yet. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run around and see if there's any side quests. What was that one restaurant? Uh, what is this? What is this place? This way, please. All right. 
What do you have? Okay. Oh, you can only choose one thing. What will we be having to eat? Uh, let's just go with this. So our goal is to eventually eat everything. I'm curious if hunger just is a proxy for like health left. Okay. All right, so the orange look like they're restaurants. I think the yellow are stores. So, like, this is a pawn shop. What do we have here? Can I do for you? Oh, okay, so we can sell our items here. Oh, holy fuck. That is a lot. Now, I'm not going to sell this shit. Because I think this will give us a huge head start once I have the ability to unlock the uh, fucking <laughs> dude I mentioned. I forget what they're called, the, the tough dudes. That's going to be our way to just get a huge head start on having to beat him and lose. Oops, why did I go to sell again? I mean, it's okay. Every time we talk to a guy, it's going towards completion. What do they have that we can buy? Just to purchase. Uh, resistance to fire. For defensive... Oh, lacks defensive... Oh, interesting. Extra force behind throws. And those are weapons. Secret wallet. Uh, so I think that's something we actually don't want. Killer B... Oh, these it has a car. High performance fishing rod. That must be a side thing we can do. Okay, let's get this. Okay, so if we go to equipment, um, how does this work? I don't know what the difference between gear and accessory is. Oh, okay, so those are just completely different types of things. This will increase our defense and it gives you incredible strength when throwing opponents. Okay, that sounds cool. So I think what I'm actually going to do right now is not at all progress quest and just kind of walk around Camarocho, give an idea of what the town is like. Oh, I'll, I'll make this a little bonus part, you know? Um, Yeah, and I'll, I'll figure out how to kind of... Oh, here, let's fight these guys. We want to get extra money. What's up, dude? Okay, I need to try something. Okay, because it says extra force behind throws. Is there anything we can use? Bam. Ow. Holy fuck. Excuse me, dude. Dang it, I don't have enough heat. <laughs> Could you imagine losing like that? Oh my god. Okay. So what is this shop down here? Actually, let's look at the map to see where we are. Okay. So... Oh, are those like white dashed lines? Does that have to do with entrances? What is that on the map? Okay, no. That is not an entrance. Where is the entrance to this store? Oh, is it... Right here? Don Quixote Camarocho. Is this a... Hmm. What do you have? Okay, so this is basically like a drugstore. Ooh, there's also some alcohol. So I'm curious... Oh, what is that? Gentleman's Umbrella. Is that a weapon? It must be. Ah, uh, so I'm curious if these are all in... Oh, they have Mountain Dew. All involved in... Um, completion, if you, like, drink them all. Throwing power a boost. What does give you some peace of mind mean? 
Huh. Okay, this is going to be for cars. Okay, we're not going to worry about this yet. Yeah, so one thing with this series that I'm trying to figure out is... Ow? Kind of how should I name this series? I I've been thinking about it. It's kind of weird because... Um, this game has a like, great plot. It also has really cool side content. But the side content is extremely varied. And so it's weird for, you know, I think as a viewer to be like watching, you know, two hours of really deep, cool, action-packed plot. And then watch eight hours of me doing like fucking real estate. It's very weird. Um, and all that side content is great. But um, I'm kind of wondering about like the through line of continuity. So I'm... I think it might be weird if I just name these, like, Episode 2, Episode 3, Episode 4, or maybe I'll do, like, Episode 2 bonus or something for when I'm kind of doing more, like, side game stuff. I I, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, We'll figure this out. Okay, I don't want to accidentally trigger this quest. Can I walk by? I can. Okay, good to know. Oh, can we get the cards and stuff yet? I know there's, like, hidden cards around. Uh, but I, I'm not sure if we need to do, like, a quest to make those appear in the world. Um, Because later we'll, we'll see, like, glowing cards on the ground that we need to collect. But I think some of this stuff might be unlocked gradually. Okay, what is this? Oh, can't go in there. Is this just, like, a drugstore? Oh, it looks like a convenience store. Okay. I need to get in some more fights, too. Oh, right. Hmm. The good thing is, every time I talk to one of these people, it's actually ticking up a, um... Like, a completion list thing. For... Like, talking to 50 people. So, even just going in there, talking to someone, not getting anything, is not a waste of time. I need to get into a fight, though. Because I need to get hurt. So I can hit up a restaurant. Um, let me zoom out. Okay, let's go up to this purple area. Oh, someone. Hey, guys. Can I use this? I can't. Fuck off. Bam. Yeah, so just from that completion thing that we've done already, you can already see how much more money we're getting from these fights. So if we go to completion list, how much do we have? How many completion points do we have? Is there a way for me to see the total? I have four. Oh, is this bowling? I think there's an award for getting a turkey. I remember doing this on my first playthrough, and I remember it being really annoying. And But I did successfully do it. I'm not looking forward to having to do it again. That's for sure. Um, I forget how to do the... the actual bowling itself in this. Yeah, one of the things that people love about these games is just... How many things there are to do in the world? Let's see. Challenge the staff. Play solo. Let's play solo. I'll play alone. That'll be 500 yen, please. Play. Okay, I forget how to do this. I remember that there was a setup that was... How many frames would you like to play? Um, three frames. I remember there's a way to do this consistently. Entertain yourself ten, t uh, ten times. Okay. Let's see. Position, adjust, spin. I'm trying to remember how I did this. So adjust spin is with the D-pad. Position, okay. Um, 
Uh, and selecting the ball, you can choose. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Let's just try this. How do I? Wait, how do I? I don't remember how to do this shit. Wait, you're making me do it? Huh. I didn't have a choice. The game just the tutorial made me fuck it up. Oh, does that not count as a throw that was just showing it off? Okay. I'm trying to remember how I did this. Oh, I fuck, I didn't curve it. Huh. Oh my god. Yosh. Yeah, I seem to recall there was a way that I did this shit. How do I... Hmm. Fuck. God damn it. There's, there's a consistent setup I did, but I can't remember how I did it. bad. God damn. Yeah, so I think getting the turkey is getting... What, what was it? Was it like three perfect... I don't remember how, how to get that. Oh, I think you need to play ten frames and, and do it like three perfect games in a I can't remember what it was. It was some shit. Hmm. God damn it. I'm doing terribly. I should have done a couple a couple curves. Oh well. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'll probably do the bowling off stream just cuz I seem to recall it's a bit of a grind. I forget what the actual completion thing for it is. Is it like is there a mini game? Mini games. Bowling. Where's bowling? Yeah, as you can see, there's so much fucking... <laughs> Earn a million in cat fights? What the hell? Oh, fucking... You have to... The arcade games is a nightmare. Or are a nightmare. Yeah, some of these are... Oh, God. Yeah, I'm trying to... Some of these are, are rough. Where's the bowling? I probably... These ones are easy. Where the fuck is the bowling? Earn... Win a shogi game. There's no way I'm ever going to get that. I can't learn Shogi. The fucking batting pool. Yeah, some of these things. The, the reality with Yakuza is there's so much shit to do. So there's going to be stuff in this game for a anyone. But there's but not everything is going to be for everyone. There's going to be content in this game that people don't like. But there's going to be something in this game that everyone loves. Like, fucking Mr. Trolldemort does streams of just Mahjong in this game. All the time. I thought there was a bowling one. Am I crazy? Oh, are these... Oh, these are the dance. The fucking dance ones. Ugh. The dance minigame is weird. I seem to recall being okay at it, but it was a little... It was a little odd. I like the simplicity of the karaoke. Okay, enough of that. Let's go back down. You got hurt, right? Oh god, my character. Oh, oh my god. I know, dude, it's hard. 
Can we go in here? How do I get in? What? Oh, is this like an order from a window? What can I get you? See the menu. Okay. I will get... Oh, am I too full? I mean, am I at too much health? Shit. I thought I got in a fight. I must have not taken damage. Shit, I need to actually intentionally get hit in these fights. Um, Because I think with my, like, belt and stuff, my damage is just too high where these some of these common fights, I can just, like, plow through the dudes. There's usually guys in this plaza to fight. Come on, guys. Okay, I'll let you guys get a hit in. Or I'll just try to do this move, because I always get hit when I try to do that move. Bam! Ow. <laughs> Pachinko sign. Beautiful. Okay. So now, where were we? Okay, what is this restaurant over here? It's like a burger place? What is this? A diner? Oh, have I been here? I feel like I've been here. What would you like? Yes! Okay. We're finishing up this restaurant. See? Okay. Because we ordered everything in this restaurant, we got one completion point. Which will help us get more unlocks. So, we're really going to try to get some of those. All right. Okay, so there was some... Was it the batting cage that was up here? I think the batting cage... This might be the batting cage, actually. Oh, you can actually see what they are. Oh, this is the fucking arcade. Oh, God, the arcade. Okay, let's go in. I think there is a mini quest here, but I don't know if it's active yet. The early game might not have all the mini quests in the world yet. Oh, of course. Oh, okay, cool. So I think that's the, like a claw game. Um, I can't really turn the camera very well. Yeah, so you can play a bunch of these games. Okay, what do we want? Um... That was a terrible, terrible drop. Come on, can we get it? Can we get under the tail? Oh, we fucking nailed it. We got Chestnut the Squirrel. Uh, okay. Oh, we still get two more turns. Can I get under the tail? Okay, that did not work. But maybe I can get a better angle now with, uh... Let's see. I don't know about this one. No, I think I'm just gonna, like, bop its head. Oh, maybe? Oh, no. No fucking shot. Yeah. I was hoping we'd hook under that nook, but... It's okay. We got something on our first try. I don't know what the purpose of this is. Let's get out of here. Okay, what is this? Huh. Yes, I want to play. Oh god, I remember some of these were a nightmare. Entertain yourself ten times. I remember that there, there was some quest where I needed to get like a high score in this, and I remember sucking at this game. 
Uh, fly. Insert credits. Rapid fire. Fire. Okay. Oh, this wasn't the game I played. I think it was like a driving game. Wait, how do I insert a coin? Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I've never played this game in my life. Oh god. Death by bush. Okay. Oh my god. Listen, I'm not getting- I'm not getting a high score in this game. How do I aim up? Is there a way? I think I lost. Uh, what? What do I do? Welcome to the Get ready. Wait, oh, I can go up? I was pressing up this whole time! Why couldn't I do it before? What the fuck? Okay, this game is <laughs> completely different now. What the fuck? I was like, this game makes no fucking sense. I was, I was trying to aim up by pressing up, but now I'm just like flying. What the shit was that? Oh my god, we already have triple our score from before. I heard it? Do I hit those balls back at it? What do I do? I clearly can't just hit it. What? Okay, I can't hit the balls back. What do I do here? I, ooh, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand. I can't hit the balls back. I don't know what the what the goal is here. Is it just to survive? So I think there's a bonus for getting... Oh, fuck. I think there's a bonus for getting a million score. But I don't know what the goal is here. Oh, did he get hit? Oh, he's changing color. Oh, my God. I wish I wasn't trying to hit the, the shots back. I wasted two lives on just, like, absolute confusion. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, we got over a mil. Um, we'll do the classic that everyone used to do. There we go. How do I get out of here? How do I quit? Back? Do I not get a thing for that? Do I not? Is there no completion for doing that? Let's see. There's got to be a space harrier one. What is the school? School blah, blah blah blah. You know? What is the space harrier score? You need five million. I need to over triple. Okay. Oh, outrun was the one that I had to do for a quest later. Don't play. Okay. So some of this stuff I'll probably try to do off stream or off video. I keep saying stream. Hmm. More games will open up to us later. This game is so much side content. Most of it is unavailable to us right now. Uh, okay. Am I hurt? What? What's my situation? No, I'm not. I need to get into a fight. Did these guys respawn here? 
Anyone? Anyone want to fight? Oh, hey guys. What's up? Oh, I need to get hit, right? Hit me. Hit me, baby, one more time. Bam. Ow. That looks so painful. You can bite off your tongue like that. Okay. Oni san! Okay, let's get some street food. See the menu. Hello. Oh, is that takoyaki I see up on the top right? Oh, it is takoyaki. I fucking love takoyaki. It's my absolute... Oh, it's like one of my favorites. So freaking good. I probably wouldn't love cheese and fish row takoyaki, but maybe. Who knows? Okay, let's zoom out. What else do we have? That's batting practice. That's a store. What is this? The big star. Okay, this looks like a convenience store. Looks very similar to one that we've been in before. Um, okay, what do you guys have? Huh. So I think you can buy, like, a bunch of alcohol and then buy this stuff to, like, get rid of hangovers and just fucking go ham on it. Okay, nothing really fascinating. Just the standard stuff. Yeah, the tough thing with this game for um, not recording is that there's so much stuff that you can just accidentally unlock. Um, like, like there will be, like, special conversations with employees at stores, and you can, like, make friends with employees and shit. Like, there's so much in this freaking game. It's so dense. Um... But I think right now we're just like, we're still kind of in tutorial land on this game, so they haven't really opened up the floodgates. Okay, I'm pretty sure I suck at this. Uh. Okay. I told the boss that offering expensive prizes like these is going to ruin us. Okay. But I think these are different levels that go at different speeds or something. Okay, how to play. Press A with the right timing to hit the balls pitched by the pitching machine. And as the score runs, hitting the ball so that it strikes a target will count as running the bases. If you fail to hit a target, it counts as an out. After three outs, the game is over. Okay. Hit a home run four times in a row to trigger a golden ball, ch ball chance. The next pitch will be a golden ball. Okay. Number of balls is limited. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, so I have no clue what the timing is yet. Fuck. Fucking, I'm so I'm so bad. Oh, it's so hard to get it to sit there. What am I doing? Oh my god. Terrible. New record. Just the worst. Okay.
Let's just try it one more time. It's hard to focus on both. <laughs> Let's see. Fuck, my, my, uh, I think my analog's a little fucked. I can't, I can't. I, yeah, I can't. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I need to do this with a different controller, I think. Actually, maybe I can do it with a uh, keyboard and mouse. Um, here, let's try something. I wonder if there's a way for me to do it with keyboard and mouse. Oh, is it E? Let's try this. Oh, my timing was just off. But this is going to be way easier with keyboard and mouse. This is way easier with keyboard and mouse. Oh my god. Fuck! That would have been the fourth. I missed. Okay, that's that's a lot easier though. That is this is actually doable with keyboard and mouse. It's five million? Fuck that. Five hundred thousand? No, we're not gonna do that yet. Did he say what the rewards are? I mean, I know he did. I just want to see what they are. Okay. Steel shin guards for 32 or more. Patriarch's bat. Immovable belt for intermediate. Yakuza training gear. Okay. Huh. Let's see something. So if I go over to completion list. Um. Uh, 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 uh mini games. So there's got to be a batting center one, right? Uh, oh, five different prizes. That's going to be in the arcade. Um, bowl 10 strikes. That's going to be easy. Uh, what was... There was one where it was... Oh, earned 5 million by batting. Uh, interesting. Okay. I want to try this with keyboard and mouse. Because I feel with, like with keyboard and mouse, we can kind of set it and forget it. Come on. Why is it not letting me? It's not letting me move my. Uh, what? Why is it not letting me move my um, mouse? Oh my god. There we go. Oh, I'm bad at this. Okay, we, we can do this. We, we got to try it once more. Come on, we got this. We got to get a golden ball. Yeah, it wasn't letting me move my mouse the first uh, on the first uh, bat for some reason. Very weird. There we go. There's one. Fuck, I'm so bad. It's so frustrating. Because <laughs> I, I, I know I'm just being dumb. Just gauging the distance. I need to get three, four in a row? Three in a row? Come on, we need to get the golden ball.
We need to get 32. I pre I press. Oh my god. I'm really bad at gauging the depth perception. Ah. Uh. Okay, we'll try it one more time. One more time and then we'll move on. As you can see, this game is it's very easy to get just fucking stuck in uh <laughs> like oh I'm just playing fucking darts. I can't stop playing darts right now. There's one. We just got 32. That's crazy. What? Oh, is it certain... Oh, curveball just fucks us? Is that it? What the fuck? Oh, am I just hitting it at the wrong timing? Fuck. Okay, I give up. Whatever, we got a we got a thing. I'll do that off off video. Cuz fuck that shit. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah, getting a 32 is going to be really hard on all of those. Okay, where are we? Zoom out. We've done the batting. I need to check out that shit. What's up, guys? Can you hit me, please? Thank you. Oh, yeah? Time to get Christmas dawn. Uh, fuck. I think I got Christmas dawn. Okay, so was that a restaurant for us over there? I'm sure not seeing many muggings right now. Oh, I wonder, do they have the punch-out thing? I think the punch-out place was close. Um, I think it might be in this lot. So this world is pretty dense, and this is actually the least dense we'll see it for the, like the rest of the game. Pretty soon, we'll be seeing just a lot more stuff popping off. Can we go in there? It doesn't look like it's a restaurant, but... Hmm. Are there any bars open and stuff? That would be fun. Uh, oh, I remember trying to go in here once before, right? I think I've been in here once, maybe. Okay, show me that seat, BB. Okay. Nice. Another CP, great. Okay, we have enough to upgrade into their skill, but I'm gonna hang on for right now just in case I need to, you know, I go to a store and find some gear. Let's see, is there anything going on in here? I don't, okay, maybe I'm thinking of a different place. What is this? Was oh, this a bar? What is this place? Oh, it's a pool. Oh, fuck that shit. Oh, and darts pro- Oh, it's a bar. Oh, cool. Okay.
Uh, I don't know. What are the rules? Reduce your score to exactly zero. Okay, cool. This might be easier with um, keyboard and mouse. In this game, you value the sections. Uh, the value of the sections you hit is deducted from the score. The goals to reach exactly zero, both bullseye and double bullseye hits are worth 50. Going below zero is called busting, and it becomes your opponent's turn if you, turn if you bust. First player to reach exactly zero before the end of the designated number of rounds wins. If neither reaches zero, okay. Good luck. Okay, select darts, aim with... Oh, you aim with Wazda. Oh, weird. So this might actually be easier on controller. Uh, let's see. How do we do this? Oh, that was way high. The uh, fuck? What the fuck am I doing? Okay. Ooh, I don't understand where I need to aim. There's probably a way to do this consistently. Okay. I, I, I don't know where the center of your actual throw is. Triple 17? Where is that? Wait, what? Triple 17. So do I go like... Double seven. Oh. Hmm. The fuck? I don't understand how this works sometimes. Huh. Okay. Hmm. 14. Okay, now how do I do this? Hmm. Did I win? Fuck yeah. Gladly. I hope you enjoyed the game. By the way, is this your first time in our bar? It is. Sometimes darts are just a thing. <laughs> Indeed. Let me give you these. You got standard darts. Fuck yeah. They're slightly better than the run-of-the-mill house darts. Oh, so does that have to do with, like less variation in aim or something? Is is there an element of randomness at the moment? Okay. I don't think I want to play pool right now. Hello, what can I get you? I would like to order. Yes. Um, What do I... Oh, God. So this is another thing about this game that is kind of charming. Um, These are all real, like, scotches and stuff. Like, I, I'm trying to think. I bought some of these for my dad before. Like, I've bought him... Glenn Fittick or Glenn Fittich, uh, like, 12-year-old. I got him a 14-year-old. I got him a Suntory once. I, I don't remember what it looked like. I don't know if it looked like any of these. Uh, it, it, I think it was more of, like, a, a squarish bottle or, like, more, like, hard edge. Um, okay, but he, this is kind of just a charming thing in this game. Fans of Japanese whiskey are on the rise, even overseas. And one big reason for that is this right here. Yamazaki whiskeys have always been prize winners, but the 18-year-old variety has earned the most accolades. It has an irresistibly aged flavor with depth and a taste like dried fruit that comes from the sherry barrels in which it is aged. This, along with its fragrant chocolate note, makes for one full-bodied whiskey. Yeah, so whenever you go to bars and you drink, like they'll give you kind of history on these uh, scotches and stuff. It's really cool. Uh... It's just a really warm game. Would you like another one? I would. I want to try the 12 year. This is one of Japan's top single malt, malt whiskeys. It's become such a status symbol that whiskey aficionados all, all over the world have heard of it. They use carefully selected, perfectly matured malts to get that great smooth flavor. Would you like another one? I would. I'm getting fucking wasted. 
Let's get some Asuntory. Fuck yes. This is another extremely popular Japanese whiskey. Spirits aged in sherry barrels at the Yamazaki Distillery are blended with carefully selected malts and grains. This yields a bright aroma and a sweet fullness in the mouth, and the finish is deep and mellow. A lot of people call it Dharma because of the, bo the bottle's round shape. Looks like a Dharma doll. Looks like you've had enough to drink right now, sir. So, one thing that you can do is you can actually get, like, the hangover cures and then just go on fucking crazy drinking binges in this game. Um. So, is there a store around? Let's see. Oh, there's a couple of restaurants there. Oh, oh erotic videos. Oh, drinks and singing. So, there's karaoke down below. Is there anything going on in here? Hit me, dude. Hit me. I dare you. Nice. Now I can deem it self-defense. Ow, sorry. I'm drunk. Okay, what is this? Can I can I get a thing from here yet? No? Okay, there's other dream machines you can buy stuff at. Sorry, dude. Okay, let's go in this area down here. What is this place? Hey, Santa. Hello. What would you like? I would like some food. Oh, see? So this is other stuff that we've already seen. Some of it. Suntory Kurumaru Shochu is an exquisite blend of two types of shochu. One rich and strong, and the other light and full of fruity aromas. Uh, a unique variety of sweet potato from the Kagoshima region gives its mild flavor. A refreshing, clean finish. You've had a little too much to drink already, darling. Why don't you take a break? Sounds good. Okay, so this was not a restaurant. This was just a bar. It had the um, restaurant look to it. But I guess maybe bars have the same ones unless they have mini games inside. Okay, where's the where's the food place? I'm still hurt, right? Excuse me. I'm trying to find a restaurant. What is this little hole in the wall? Oh, it's another bar. Hello, what can I get you? Fans of Japanese whiskey are on the rise, even overseas, and the one big reason for that is he right here. Yamazaki whiskeys have always been prize winners, but the 18-year-old variety has earned the most accolades. It is an irresistibly aged flavor with depth and taste like dried fruit. Is this the exact same thing that he said before that comes from dried barrels? Is Okay. So, we're not getting these checked off, so I don't know if there is a bonus for drinking every alcohol. We've had enough to drink. Let's go to completion list, okay? It wouldn't be under minigames. Or would it? Where would it be? Oh, it would be under these. Hmm. What is this place called? Yeah, but it, it, isn't this just like... Like, there's no real purpose for this. But it's just cozy as fuck. Like, it's just vibes. Let's see, what was that place called? Shellac. If you go to completion list, adventure... It counts. Okay, so we do need to drink everything. So we can farm those out by getting, going to just like a drugstore and buying like hangover cure and just 
Fucking, <laughs> listen. This is not something to do in real life, okay? <laughs> this is all video game. Million yen vending machine, let's fucking use it. You paid a million yen, what did you get? Let's waste our money. Oh, what a waste. Look, does this place look familiar? This is the lot. I think we're already hurt, right? Ah, hit me. Hit me. Could you imagine? Like, if someone hits you and you're like, oh yeah, and then they pick up a giant fucking light up sign to destroy you. This guy's fucking crying. I would be too. I don't blame him. Okay, where are we going? So there's an eatery there. And have I been here? Okay, let's get some ramen. Fuck yes. Sumimase! Hey, welcome. Uh, let's get some... Let's get whatever the most expensive is. Okay, this looks like an easy place to complete for the completion list. All right. Beautiful. So we need to do three more there to get the completion point. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, don't mind me. Oh, little Kappa. Why, hello. We're in a drugstore. This is perfect. Oh, they don't have what I want here. Maybe they don't sell that at drugstores. Maybe they sell that at corner stores. Huh. Okay. What are these places? Shogi, fuck that. Even though my favorite... Oh, Mahjong. Even though my favorite show is about Shogi. Wait, are there two arcades? Oh, there's two arcades. A bar chain, all right. Oh, we've been to some of these. Okay. Oh, we missed the erotic videos. Okay, how much do we have? We probably have like seven or something. We have nine. Okay. Mr. Shakedown is the way that we earn a lot of money in this game. That's how we earn a fuck ton of money. But we're going to need to unlock more of this stuff for it to actually be beneficial. So basically, we want to get this for it to be beneficial. There's also a way for us to unlock an item. Uh, I forget how to get it, though. There's an item that we can unlock later that will show us where Mr. Shakedown is. And that will be extremely helpful, because otherwise it's kind of random. Ow. Ow. Okay, listen, dude. You have hit me too many times, so I'm going to do the ultimate disgrace. I'm going to hit you with a weapon that I can never hit guys with. The fucking worst skill. <laughs> I can't. There we go. Suck it. Ah, 
There we go. Okay. So if we go to the erotic videos place, I don't know if there is... Wait, what is this place here? We've been there? We must have. We must have, right? I'm almost positive we have. I'm actually completely positive we have. Is this the place that we've completed? This is. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm not really going to show off much of the erotic video section. There, there's no, like, nudity or anything. It's all very, like, that, like, fucking super, 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 super softcore, like, fucking Japanese idol shit. Okay, video booths at Gendari you can watch videos of a varied cast of gorgeous girls. As you meet these women out in the city under certain conditions, new video content will become available. Search every corner of town and find your dream girl. So I think, okay, so I don't think we have access to it yet. I think this might be tied to finding those cards. So the thing with this game is, I think what they do is they have characters in the wild. Are there any glowing things we can, I don't know if we have access to this yet. So I think through this game, what, what you can do is you can find these like cards on the ground that go into a collection. And as you collect these cards, it will unlock videos that you can watch in that shop. Now, the videos, I believe, are live-action videos of actual women. Um, but it's all, like... I think it's all kind of, like, oh, in a bikini, like, blowing bubbles. Like, super, 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 super... Oh, hey, buddy. You know what? I am gonna help. Super mild stuff. Um, what do you want? But... And I think that the, the people... Why don't you big on someone your own size? What do you mean, someone your own size? You big old fine by me. So it's kind of a weird addition to the game because I think what they do, um, I think it's like actual Japanese idols. Like I think they're actual people that do that stuff for a living, I believe. And they put them in the game as themselves, kind of, I believe. I could be wrong about this. So take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. Um, oh, I should switch to another style now that we're kicking ass in Brawler. And... But then they'll actually put those, like, actual idols in the game as, like, fucking NPCs in the world. So I think it'll be, like, you'll, like, whatever. Let's say there's, like, fucking someone named, like, Irie fucking whatever. Whatever. Let's say there was, there was an idol named, like, Irie or something in real life. They put her in the game and then they make her a convenience store clerk. And then you could talk to her and you could have these conversations with her and they modeled it after a real person. I believe that's what goes on in this game. It, it, it's an odd little addition, but it's, you know. Uh, oh, dude. I need to be eating between these fights. Oh, what am I? There we go. There we go. Okay, I need to start killing some guys in this style. Okay. Okay, karaoke, would you like to order anything? Uh, sure, let's get an omelette. Okay. Now everyone's favorite. Let's see what they've got. Uh, let's just sing. Okay. 
So we've done Bakumi Tai. We've already gotten a high score in that. Did I do the hard mode? I want to do whatever the harder mode is. I think the easy mode caps you. It's actually easier to get a harder score in the... It's easier to get a good score in the hard mode than the easy mode. Fuck yeah! Yeah, these are just so cheesy, but they're beautiful. I fucking love them. 99, not bad. Okay. We only need 90 plus. Yeah, I think if you do easy mode, the max score you can get is 90. Fuck, yes, we should sing. And these all give us completion points. And there's also different songs, because there's a second character in this game. Mild spoiler. There's a second character in this game you can play as, and he gets also, like, different songs, different completion point rewards, stuff like that. La, da, 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 da. These are just so cheesy, but beautiful. Who is this? Oi! 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 Let's go! Oh, fuck, I didn't see that. Ooh-ah! Ooh-ah! <laughs> it's so cheesy! I love it! I unironically absolutely fucking love this so deeply. Ashiguna Love a surfing. A fucking turn now! I fucked this up. <laughs> I made some stupid mistakes. I made some really stupid mistakes. I, I Hopefully it's still above 90, but I missed two, which is not good. These are actually really easy rhythm games, in these ones. The, the um, dancing ones subsequently hurt. Fucking, I messed up. Oh, God. I, I did some really stupid shit in that one. <laughs> Aren't you quite the singer? Customers like you brighten up my day. <laughs> Thanks. Come sing in our bar again. Hell yes. Okay, I'll probably just do that off uh, video just so you guys don't have to watch it again. The same one. But yeah, those, those these are generally very easy. <laughs> and then you can do lively interjections instead of actually singing.
Go, go, mushy mush! Oops. Okay, this is going to be a pretty good score. This is probably going to be like a 98, I'm guessing. Because I only saw me miss one, or I got a good. Ah, oh, it's way worse than I thought! No! What did I do? Why was I so bad? Oh, I probably needed to be on a higher... Oh, was I on the one where you can only get... <gasps> oh, did I need to be on a higher list? Was I on the easy difficulty? Is that why? Because that caps your max score at a 90. Oh, back of me ties playing in the background. Oh, I, I think I fucked up. Yeah, because for you to get the achievement on the easy mode, you need to actually do it perfectly, which is makes it way harder. Oh, simple interjections, lively. Yeah, I was fucking up. Okay, we're gonna do this again with lively. I didn't. I didn't realize. Oi, oi, oi. Yay, yay, yay. Ooh ah, ooh ah, Oops, I, I was tapping on that one instead of holding. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, so I clearly fucked up way more in this one than the simple interjections, but I'll probably have a way better score. Even though I had like one huge error where I missed an actual hold because I was doing rapid pressing instead. Yeah, see? Instead of 86, even though I did better on the 86, I got a 98. That's why I say always do hard on this. Never do the simple. It's just not worth it. If you just do hard mode, you'll always max these first try. And if you're if you do it on easy mode, you have to do it completely perfectly. You can't mistime anything, or else it will drop to 89 and you won't get the achievement. Okay. Hua, hua, hua. Uh, the kappa with the little um, fucking CD on its head instead of a shell. I hate when I miss one.
Here we go. Da 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 Everybody now. Everyone. Da 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 Fuck! I, 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 I fucked this up. I might actually not break 90 because I dropped the ball in the end of that. But if I do break 90, then it just proves my point. 95. 95 and I made so many mistakes at the end. Yeah, yeah, these are very, very, very easy to get. We have one last karaoke to do with this character. Let's see what they've got. Sing. Fuck yeah. You guys remember when the Bakimitai AI face swap things or deep fakes went everywhere? Oh, I love this one. Everybody say, lose you over love. Oi. A kaku so me lose, lose you over love. <laughs> fucking voice sometimes. Oh, dear love. Don't make my heart. Yeah, if there was a, a literally a video game of only this karaoke, this type of karaoke, like it was just a full on, full length rhythm game of just things like this, I would play it completely. I unironically, like obviously there's a certain irony to it. Oh my god, almost got perfect. There's a certain irony because it's clearly supposed to be fucking campy, cheesy, like joke. But holy shit, do I love it so much. It is. And this is one of the big kind of things with the game is like. You have this character who is very serious, very, you know, like dark, gritty, like tense, all this shit. And then you put him in these situations where he's just like goofy and charming and lovable. And it's one of the really weird kind of things that this game series does where, you know, you're kind of in certain ways are kind of watching like, like it's weird because it's you're kind of watching a game about bad guys, but you know, but it, they're also trying to like give it a heart of gold and make you like invested, emotionally invested in this guy. Um, yeah, so they just have these, they just have all these ways to make you get emotionally invested in this lovable character, so that then when you put him into the actually like kind of like heart wrenching dramatic moments, it uh it really hits a lot harder. Uh really really cool. Okay, is there anything else I need to show off? Um, 
I think there were a couple places over down at the bottom. I would like to get in one more fight if possible. I think there was some stuff down here. Uh, I can get a bunch of like... Hangover cures and stuff. Is this... This is a convenience store. I can probably buy a bunch of hangover cure here. Okay, where is it? Fuck yeah. Thank you, dude. Now we can get wasted. Come look more. The other character has some amazing karaoke songs too. Okay, let's save. Because we've done a lot of just like random things. Is there a fight up here? Come on. I want to fight someone. Oh, you guys look like you'll you'll want to fight me. You guys are in your matching outfits. Okay, come on, hit me. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, I forgot I'm doing a different fighting style. I was trying to grab him. Okay. So what are these places? So there's a shogi parlor. There's some form of restaurant over here. Oh, the Ringer Hut. What is this place? Oh, this place has a lot of stuff. girl is sure fucking eyeing me down as I eat. Holy shit. Give me some space. Oh my god. A rouge of love. I unironically have that song stuck in my head. Oh my god. Come on. Help me out, camera. La Marche. What is this? This place looks fancy. I can't remember, are there... Oh, can you gift girls things in this game? I can't remember. I think you might be able to. Oh. Interesting. So, um, minor gameplay spoilers. This game has a bunch of like the small side things, but each character also has one major side mini game that it, you'll probably invest like, I don't know, eight hours in each. Like both of them ha has a substantial amount of time. Uh, Kiryu has a real estate one where you're, you're kind of like investing in, uh, hang on a second. What am I doing? Uh, Kiryu's one is like a, a real estate one. I don't recall seeing your face here before. Are you new to Shogi? It's a fascinating game. We offer two different types of Shogi here. Ranking matches and challenge mode. Okay. They're presented with Shogi scenarios. The first ones are rather easy and they get increasingly difficult. That's cool. Hey, would you like to play Shogi? It's only... Okay, play challenge mode. Girl, I'll play. Which challenge do you want to take on? Challenge one. I've never played Shogi in my life. I've watched March Comes In Like a Lion, which I love. Um, super... Okay. So, let's see. Okay, so what's the challenge? So are these all pawns? Okay. Pawn, king... I think there's more pieces, right? Um... Pawn, King, Gold General, Silver General, Rook, Bishop, Lance. Okay. Wait, so are these... Oh, is that Rook, Bishop, Knight, Silver General, Gold General? Right?
Wait, does that night not work the same way? Oh, night works differently. Hmm. What? I don't understand. Oh, I can... What? Does it not capture the same? As... Huh. I don't fucking understand this. Uh... Okay, fuck it. How does capturing work in this game? Um... Do I have another bishop? Okay. Oh, can you not move these guys back, though? Can they only go up? So that's a lance. So lances can only go straight. Um... Okay. I know I willingly gave that up, but... Hmm. Oh, they have, they have a knight, too. I didn't even see that. Wait, what? I don't understand. I don't, I, I don't... I actually don't understand. I need to look up the peace movement. Wait, why can I not move backwards to the capture? I'm... I, I do not understand Shogi at all. <laughs> Oh my god. This is clearly a super fucking easy challenge. I just don't get it. Okay. I lost. I don't... Yeah, I... It's tough because I have no, like, peace recognition, so I'm kind of going by the letter. I don't know. I don't play chess, let alone shogi. Um... So, what are the... What is the completion for shogi? Is it, like, beat a game with no takebacks? Does that count challenge? If it counts challenge, that actually is probably very doable. You just have to, like, figure it out. Uh, for some reason, I thought they had only pawns. Oh, wait, can you swap characters into pawns? I don't fucking know. That might count as challenge. That might actually be doable, to be totally honest. I also don't know how to play Mahjong. No clue how to play that. Okay, did I eat? Am I at full health? I think I did eat. Well, I think that really captures what we have available to us right now. I mean, there is the Mahjong Parlor. So I guess we can go say hi. I'm not going to play Mahjong right now. I've, I know enough. I know even less about Mahjong than I know about Shogi. And you saw how Shogi went. I got destroyed on the easiest challenge and don't know where the knights came from. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, so there's just a fuck ton to do in this game. At Orchid Palace Mahjong, you can play at tables with varying rates or participate in ranked matches. Okay, cool. Interesting. Okay, let's get out of here. We're just showing this off. Um, anywhere else that is worth going. Um, okay, my controller is busted. You see, I can't, like, go down to the, to the left. Oh, well. Maybe I need to get used to playing this game on fucking keyboard and mouse. Okay, where's, where's the nearest bar? I guess there were those ones up there. Where was the one that we actually went to that was really nice earlier? Oh, there's the karaoke bar. Okay, we have one more thing we want to do. What, what is my completion at, by the way? Uh, how do I see my completion points? Wait, where do I see them? Completion... Oh, eight. What did I need? I, I think I needed eight. Exchange. So we go to battle and we get Nouveau Riche, which is going to be nice. So that will mean we'll see a new type of guy dressed in the fancy clothes. Always in style. Get quick change clothes. I don't know what that is. This is what we really want. Money magnet. Get we don't care about that. Enable upgrades to certain battle. Okay, this is something that doesn't affect us for a long time. Golden pistol. So basically, we're going to go up to Money Magnet 3. And then we're going to start investing in either business or adventure. Oh, Card Watcher. Is that how we can see them? Okay. Th some of this stuff is nice. But we will also want to... Real Estate Royale is that one mini game that will be nice to get. New look. Oh, yeah. Um, the reality, though, is we're going to be getting a lot of money. I can't remember how the Real Estate Royale works in this game. I don't remember if your money and the Real Estate's money are, like, synonymous or if they're, like, separate things. Um... I remember walking through here with, was his name Nakamichi? Was that his name? Hua, hua, hua. I am actually, how is there a Persona dance game and a Star Wars dance game and there's no fucking Yakuza karaoke game? How the hell does it not have a fully fledged game? That shit would be big, I swear. What is this? Okay, pulling darts, let's go in here. Excuse me, guys. Okay, we're going to finish off with some chill time. Hello, I want to get wasted, my friend. This is the standard of the Macallan line, aged entirely in sherry barrels. It's perfect for those looking to enjoy the Macallan without breaking the bank. It may be the standard of the, of the line, but it's guaranteed to deliver the Macallan taste. I urge you to experience its sweet, full flavor and bouquet for yourself. Would you like another one? Fuck yes. Glenn Fittick. Glenn Fittick, 12 years, is the best-selling single malt whiskey in the world. This bottle set the industry standard for a single malt. You'll find it light and fresh. That shit is expensive. The bouquet is fruity. In real life, I think... I know the... The 14 year was over $100. The bouquet is fruity. And the finish clean. I think this might be like $80 or $70, 70 and 80 The bouquet is fruity and the finish clean. Make it exceptionally... Making it exceptionally easy to drink. Its light flavor makes it popular with anyone new to single malt whiskeys.
This is the standard of the Bowmore line. Cherry barrels give it a uniquely ripe floral overtones. Give it uniquely ripe floral overtones. It also has the distinctive seaweed and salt notes of Islay. I don't know what that word is. Islay? Islay? With a distinct, distinguished flavor that has earned it the title of the Queen of Islay. Islay. It stands a cut above the rest of the single malt 12-year-old whiskeys. Looks like you've had enough to drink. Is that what you think? Well, look what I got, Sunny. Look what I got. I'm sober as shit right now. Well, not really. I'm still pretty drunk. Valentine, 17 year old. Oh my, 17 years old. This is the unique, uh, the ultimate blended whiskey. It boasts a flavor and aroma that can be created only by combining over 40 single malts. This could very well be called the crown jewel of Valentine's whiskey blending expertise. It's well loved the world over to the point of some calling it the scotch. I wonder how expensive that is in real life. So I think part of the thing, listen, I know nothing about making scotch, but I think part of the thing is you have with the older it gets, I think you're just evaporating tons of whiskey out of the barrel basically. So I think the, the younger it is, the more, the more you're actually getting from what you like the the resources you put in and i think if the older it is it just evaporates and then you like mix them i think you like combine barrels and then let it age more and it just like evaporates out. i believe i could be wrong looks like you've had enough to drink now sir that's what you think listen i'm living the life It's safe to say this 10-year-old Lafroig is the standard of the line. It's characterized by an intensely smoky flavor and a smooth, dry body. It has more than its share of quirks, so most people either love it or hate it. But if you end up loving this one, it'll be the one you'll never forget. What does this song remind me? This song reminds me of a something. Does it remind me of like Ekoro or something? No. Like another one. Yes, I would. Malts the Draft. This Japanese beer has ridden a wave of popularity ever since it went on sale in 86. Made with 100% barley malts infused with malt and hops, this draft beer strikes a perfect balance of flavors. Once you've enjoyed its pleasant finish, you'll be eager to crack open another one before too long. Rich barley tones accented with sweet barley malt and bitter hops are its main features. Buddha. Yeah, like... It I don't, I don't know what to say about this. It, it, it feels like... Like, it, it's weird that someone would spend their time going to the bar in the game and fucking drinking and having the bartender explain the shit to you. Like, it's, it's a fucking weird thing to spend your time on, and yet, for some reason, something about it is just so cozy. Suntory Rum Gold. Rum is made from the sugar cane juice that has been boiled down until its sugar content crystallizes into molasses. It's graded by color and flavor, both of which are uh, vary by how it was made. This one's a gold rum, which means it has a medium body. It's perfect for cocktails, and with its wallet-friendly price, you can enjoy it guilt-free. But be careful, rum-based cocktails are sweet and delicious, so it's easy to drink way too much before you know it. I seem to recall the Suntory ones in real life were a lot less expensive than the Glenfiddich. I think when I was buying like similar things, I think the Glenfiddich was like 80 to 100 to like 115, depending on the age. And I think the Suntory was like 60 bucks or something. Okay. This is one of Jap Japan's top brandies. This bestseller has won over countless people with its bright, fruity aroma and smooth taste. As for the name, VSOP stands for Very Superior Old Pale. Okay. So I think this will get us a like a, a completion point. And it has. You've completed Vincent. Looks like you've had enough to drink for now, sir. Sounds great. Okay. So we're going to call it there. That's I think that's a nice intro to Camarocho. And I'll be back next time with some actual stories. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Take care. Bye-bye.